I'm in, I'm in the training room. All the kids at home, don't be like us. It's the Rega method. Rest, elevation, Guinness, and end up. Oh, Keith O'Neill, the general manager slash PGA professional at uh, Enniscrowan Golf Club. Dramatic dune land, use your imagination around the greens, uh, the ever-changing element to Lynx Golf, the wind, uh, it's exciting to play. One of the waterproofs, he knows something we don't know. Tom, what is this stuff, man? Lucasade. <laughs> so this would be the Irish version of Gatorade, I suppose, except it's fizzy and it's just jammed with sugar. <laughs> I kind of liked it when I was doing my walk. It was like a shot of a shot of energy. I'd be like bouncing down the road afterwards, shaking. What fueled my walk? Yeah, what, what, like, what kind was, of stuff are you eating and drinking? You know, I had these um, those little shot blocks, like goo yeah. things, yeah. like the marathon. Yeah, I like marathon shit. I forgot to ask you yesterday, what was the best round you played in the, in the trip? It was, <laughs> it was probably at Karn. Really? Uh, yeah, well, maybe no that's you why like I played number so one course in America. No wonder. Legend. Living legends around the links at Enniscrown. Why do they call you a living legend? Because I'm still alive, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chad had to film, but he's he's also toasting. Hey guys, well. can I join? <laughs> Jim, how long have you been a member here? Uh, 1988. And 31 years. <laughs> Seems only like the other day. <laughs> now on the tee. From Marymount. No, Marymount. Big Randy. God, he's been driving the ball well. You know why they call Big Randy, right? Big Ernie. Because he's a big Sit. horn dog. <laughs> I described the club as one of the friendliest clubs I, I ever joined. Really? No, I was a bit of a nomad. I was a member in Belfast and Ross's Point and Eden Derry and Mullingar. And I had been a member of small clubs for a lot of my life. And small clubs were friendly places. But I found in, in this place someone had offered to play golf with you, which wasn't the case in other places. Well, we've been to a lot of links courses on this trip. Yeah. What what makes this one unique? Uh, it's a hundred years old, and like uh, years ago, there was only maybe four or five holes open. Eddie Hackett came in then, uh, designed uh, the course, uh, made it eighteen, and then we got Donald Steele to come in and uh, do some uh, remodeling. It's very natural, um, uh, very let's say playable. Um, a great great links course uh, on the west coast of Ireland. Yeah. The club hasn't been hugely successful in inter-club golf, but we've had our fun times, you know, it's, it's not all about winners. <laughs> so we've had a good game going on this trip. Whenever somebody makes a birdie, uh, everybody kicks in one euro into the pot. Whenever TC, this is his stacking, he's, he likes to stack prizes. Whenever somebody makes an eagle, everybody kicks five euros into the pot. The pot is up to 79 euros at this point. Per person. Per person. That's like 420 euros. Whoever makes the last birdie of the trip, Takes all of them. I just want to know where the gold at. And who's your money on? Who's going to make the very last birdie today? Let's go pitch and play. Shh. You. Let's go. <laughs> Mike, I feel personally insulted for the record, <laughs> just so you know. Like 16, 17, 18, are there some birdies out there? Oh, yeah. 16 to par 5. I think it's downwind today as well, so we'll be on in two. Uh, 17, it's a par 3. It'll be a little bit um, wind off the right today. Short, short par three. If you hit the green, excellent. You get a good opportunity. 18, it's a tough birdie. It's a tough birdie. Try and get the job done on 16, 17. Okay. Yeah. It's nice to finish with a par on, on 18. Oh, to Ron. 
point, trying to use the ball. Oh my lord, go in, go in, go in. Dude, that, that went in the hole. I'm just calling it from, now I see it, damn it. <laughs> Gosh. Randy, I'm sorry, man. No! Boy, can I screw the Out there too, we've lost three balls. It's time to turn it around. Chad's got up and down on a 200 yard par three, straight into about a 20 mile an hour wind. What's the status, dude? There's, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. Big Randy. Yes. The bird on five. Take the yellow jersey for a quick time. Yes! He's got, hoping for a rainstorm oh, now. God, let it fing rain sideways. Randy, are the reports true? Oh my God. Cheers to last night. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Golly. Please, dude. Go. Yep. Good shot, dude. Yo, know, talk to me about what happened there. Uh, we were consulting some literature and I got distracted. The yardage book. The yardage book. I was like, yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> he gets up there, Neil flushes one off the tee. Probably the best shot he hit all day. But it was it was like 70 yards right of his line. And he's like, he looks at me, I'm like, <laughs> he's like he goes, oh, that's good. What? That should be perfect. He's like, that's right? perfect. I was like, dude, you're not gonna find that. He's like, what do you mean? They call like TK just said that the, the green's right down there. I'm like, no, it goes left. He's like, it doesn't go left. I'm like, we just looked at the <laughs> yardage book for five minutes. He's going through all of this, like, <laughs> he doesn't know where, I can't even like walk up the dune far enough to show him what the line is. So I'm like, dude, it's like, it was, it was like 30 yards left of me. Like, try to aim it over there. Somehow he flushes it, holds it up the, against the wind perfectly. <laughs> has no idea where he's going. Hits it on the green. Guesses at what club he needs, everything. Hits it on the green. What happened? Can I tell you something between us? Yeah. This has happened to Neil on multiple occasions. See the cross? That's Neil. Um, in fairness to Neil, I had a blue stamp on my ball. Like, all I could see was the blue <coughs> staring back at me, the same rap here. I was like, 
it was in, but, but <laughs> Neil, but it was Neil, in a different place on the, the only, ball. The only problem with that is that on the triple track balls, the logo is completely different. It doesn't even have the okay. chevron. <laughs> okay, do you want to know something? Do you realize how many different balls I play in the day? Do you want to play it? Yours was down in the ditch in a nice spot. I was unsubscribed at that point. <laughs> Forward slash unsubscribe. I used to say, so my name's Phil in real life. And I used to say, I went through a stage in junior high when I would spell it F I L. Get down. Maybe not. Watch. There you go. He's the leader uh, playing 14, the downwind par five. So we got five holes to find a couple birdies here. Got it for Randy. Randy's yeah, made. Listen, he hey, made, he's still still got five holes. When, when, when do you think the last time Randy made four birdies was? Whenever. <laughs> he sweet. made them too early. I called I it. I called it when when they were hollering from the group ahead of us. He made three birdies in like ten holes. I just said, man, that's not gonna hold. TC just wrecked his rig. Has anybody even heard in this crash? <laughs> I need to call my insurance company. That's, that's so tough my afternoon. <laughs> the big guy! Great shot! Fourteen, right? TK standing over his ball, and you hear from like probably two hundred yards away, just from like right over. He's just about ready to pull the trigger. Hey, wait, good sir. <laughs> he got up there. It was not his ball. It was not his ball. And he played it anyways. And he gets up. He's like, "Yeah, I made a six. <laughs> yeah, it was the mega six. I mean, it wasn't even your fucking ball. No, you had seen, like, no, no, here's the thing. If you had seen the dune I climbed. You did see the dune I climbed. The back of it looked like a sea of crankshaft. I'm on the fucking moon over here. Not great, bud. Oh shit, it's not even mine. You're right. Neil was down there and like bouncing around. Yeah, there was like no gravity. there was no gravity to do. So I was like, <laughs> one <laughs> one big <laughs> swing for man, <laughs> one massive <laughs> swing for tour stock. <laughs> No text from the lead group about birdies on 14. So this would take the lead. Come on, what time? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Sheesh. He's fixed. Shamo. He's fixed. <laughs> All right, here's Incarito for birdie. Come on, Neil. Turn, turn, turn. Ah, good oh, run, man. Run. Developing situation. Sally has been thinking about this hole all day. 500 yard downwind par five. And we see him in the left rough. He's in the heather. Uh, the ball is at about his waist and he has the he has a head cover off. Um. Oh, he took a mighty lash. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So look at the feet. Oh no. <laughs> I was 248. No look at the pin. I just had to get my line and trust Blind it. shot. Blind shot. Damn. Hit it to probably 20 feet. <laughs> what a good effort. Woohoo! There it is! Fing Tron. 
Sounds like Tron made a birdie. Tough scene. Tough thing, okay? It wasn't the part five we we wanted. We got one more swing, basically. 18s, we're not getting 18. Let's see. I don't know. If I hit a good drive. You know daddy's got the link. Come on. For good measure. Oh. Cap wedge from one, what is it actual? 160 what? About 150 pay. Okay. 161. Be good. Come on. Win. Get a chance. Get a putt. Struck. Come on, get down there. Oh yeah, big kick. All right, oh. man. That's a bumper. <laughs> this this seems like DJ Pie's destiny. Charge. Turn. God, good run, Neil. 18, named McDuff. Shout out to uh, Shakespeare. Yes. The big homie, Bill Shakespeare. Uh, well, that was Macbeth. No, well, McDuff was a character. Was it? Yeah. Good. What? Yeah, when, what? Yeah, I think they're good. Yeah. Yeah. He was in... Uh, we're going to get back to you on that. We'll, we'll take that offline. Oh, he striped oh. it. Look at God's Pro Tracer over there, too. It was hit good. It was a squeeze mucked up. It was a squeeze mucked up. That was the best mucked up I've ever hit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't figure it out. Oh, little back leg kick out there. I had to get it out of the divot. I've, I've invited my my family and, and relatives and close friends to join me if this putt should drop. Okay. Mike showed up for me. <laughs> for him, I shall make a good run. Oh. Tough scene. Gotta survive one more group. Two swings. That's all I have left. That's all we need. There's a good one there. Oh, there it is. Stay there. Come on. Stay. That's that. gotta be so good. Oh yeah. I know, gotta get that juice going. Not quite. <laughs> ah, five iron. Smooth swing, buddy. Don't overswing it. <laughs> Way left. Oh my god. 
That one had to feel crisp though. Oh, the honk in his backswing. He's right, it's coming right. You're fine, you're fine. All right, out to the right, you got a chance. Button. Folks, he is looking to hold this. It's a good run. Well Thank done, you, Sally. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Just talk to me about today's win. Means a lot. Um, I'm going to call Freddie and Alex here in a sec. Uh, probably FaceTime with them. Tell them about the win. Um, couldn't have done it without Mike in the bus. Uh, couldn't have done it without my, my epic flash Sub-Zero driver. I drove the ball up a gnat's ass this week. Well, hey, go go sign your card, make it official. Hey, I appreciate that. Very cool. Appreciate we'll see, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see I, think I, I think I'm actually going to be hitting chat up for... Possibly a new set of irons because I'm a, I'm a player now and I just need the I need the pros Tron, all the way through the bag and the combo stop. set. You don't need to mess with your bag right now. <laughs> My God! So and you, I, made, yeah, you made I, like forty birdies this week. Well, hey, that's the kind of stuff they're gonna write books about. It's cool. Man. It's really cool. <laughs> Let's go get some Thanks, final beers. Thank you. I got. I guess I got to know the no laying up crew. I think I first met uh, Solly and um, you. Well. It would, we're talking, I'm talking yeah. to you, DJ. I was on your podcast. The Sully was on the Golfers Journal podcast with me. So there's been, just like our paths have crossed nicely in a lot of different cool ways. So when I got the call to say, um, hey, would you like to uh, to come to Ireland with us? I was like all over it. I thought that'd be, that would be a blast. Sully's got game, beautiful swing and launches it. As of, the ball takes off with a sort of stank on it that uh, recalls a, a younger Tom coin. Tron is annoying because he's freaking good. And um, and he stripes it, he's, he never misses a fairway. And he's super com like competitive in like a cool way. But like, he's just the kind, Tron's the dude you do not want to play in a match. You don't want to play him in a match, he's gonna beat you. DJ is a basher and a lasher, buttercut slash I'm talking to DJ. This is awkward. Um, <laughs> Marjorie's pet sometimes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Randy. When he's grooving, I can you can literally see like in his backswing how he drops it into the right slot, and then you know it's going to be good. So I know if he's going to hit a good one like before it gets to the, the club, it gets to the ball. He's he's obviously a laid back cat, um, but he really cares about his golf, and I think he enjoys. He I think he gets something very soulful and almost spiritual out of the experience which is cool. Neil is, aside from golf, is like probably the funniest dude I've ever spent like five days with. He beats himself up too much probably on the golf course. Cause when he hits it, I mean, he hits it as good as anybody uh, in this group or really like as good as you need to hit a golf ball. Hey, cheer, 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 Cheers, 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 Cheers,